the second quarter. How did that affect you guys in the second half of the game? And um, Donovan, especially for you, how did you sort of then have to take over the card? Um, <clears throat> You know, it's it's tough to see, you know, him go down like that on a freak accident, you know. Uh, sorry, on a freak accident like that. Like, that's that's tough, man. And, you know, I don't know the full extent. You know, I don't have any news for y'all. But, you know, as far as he goes, he's a fighter. He's a competitor. He's going to be back strong. But, you know, the one thing about this group, man, like, we, we fought and competed. You know, when a man goes down, next guy's stepping up. You know, that's that's the road to being a good team, a really good team. And, you know, obviously we 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 did a, we didn't do a bunch of things that we can control. Turnovers. Um, they started the fourth quarter with three or threes in a row. Um, little things, closeouts, rebounds. Like you know, they had 16 or 18 second chance points, um, and we still were right there. You know, so if we clean those up, it's a, we're right there. But to see DG go down, man, it's, it's tough. But um, I'm proud of the way this group responded. You know, and then for me, just just doing my job, whatever that may call for. That's what I. Said before I came over, if it's if it's being more on ball, off ball, you know, defending, whatever it may be. So, um, and then you got the bigs, man, making hell of a hell of a play. <laughs> this dude right here, man, making plays down the stretch on both ends of the floor, you know, um, Ev as well, you know. So that that's huge. Jared, for you, uh, what did you just see coming up that like, the fourth quarter, especially the breakdowns on both sides of the ball? Uh, we could have executed things a little better. Everybody, you know, offense, defense, like Donovan said. There's a lot of things that we could control that we didn't execute to our standard of play. Uh, but still, there was a lot of good things that we did down the stretch in terms of just figuring out how to play in the end game, where to be, the right spots, communicating as a team. So it didn't end as we wanted to, but we saw a lot of positives. That's kind of where Doug Martin could sit right next to you, but what did you see from Don tonight in uh, his first game, right. official game with the Cavs? Uh, leadership. Uh, he led us, whether he was talking on the, you know, obviously he had 31 points, you know, he shot the ball well. Just taking that out, we know what he can do on the court. But in terms of just getting us where we need to be, telling us how to run the offense, talking on defense, did excellent then. Don, it seemed like you took your time kind of finding your spots early on, and then as the game progressed, got a little more into things, you were kind of just feeling your way through. Yeah, and and you know, that's that's the, the big thing playing with, you know, a bunch of a bunch of good guys is trying to find your spot, especially against a team like Toronto. You don't want to just come in full bore. You know that's kind of how they want to turn you over. Um, and then obviously DG goes down, so I'm, I'm on the ball more, trying to direct in traffic. And you know the best thing about it is, you know, I'm out there trying to lead, like Jay said, but you know they're talking to me about what they see and find ways to make myself better. But for me, just trying to find ways to to make the game easy, not just for myself, for everybody. And you know we didn't end the first quarter well. We was I think they had 21 points, and then next thing you know, they give up two threes. So it's a matter of how we respond. <clears throat> in that in that second quarter, especially when Darius went down, and I think we did a good job of that. Chetty Osman, you know, hit a bunch of shots, guarded well. Uh, Karis Garden, you know, just finding ways to to make our to raise our intensity level. Um, and you know, with a game like that in a city like this, and Toronto's fans are loud, and you know, it's, a, it's an aggressive team, and you know, it's one of those things that they're going to make runs, they're going to make pushes. But how do we push back and respond? And we we responded every pretty much every time, and then you know. That one time we let our guard down, you know, they, they hit us with a hook in the fourth, and it's hard to recover from that, especially on, the, on at home. But like I told them in the locker room, man, like this is our first time as a group, you know, going against a really tough playoff team. And, you know, for us to have a, a, some mishaps that we can control, you know, it's 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 always good to win, you know, a game. But, you know, when you have a lesson like, okay, we can fix this and this, and we only lost by, by three, you know, so finding ways to improve uh, day by day um, throughout the game. I heard you guys having to be walking behind you guys and you were talking through those couple turnovers there yeah. late in the fourth. Is, is that just kind of a natural thing that as you guys play more together, you're going to see those reads the same way instead of seeing it different ways and kind of, you know, just that seems like just a natural kind of shooting all the time, I would imagine, right? Yeah, it's just it's part of the game. It's part of the growing as teammates. Uh, it's our first game playing together, you know, our first <laughs> official game playing together. We still have a lot of things to iron out, a lot of things just to communicate about off the court after it happens. But that's just just how we do it. How players do it. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, hello guys, I have uh, a question for for both uh, if you if you allow me. Um, uh, yes, it's about um, uh, do you do you think that uh, in uh, in games like uh, like today uh, with uh, so many crazy moments, uh, maybe the the team uh, miss uh, the, the spirit of, of Ricky Rubio at, at the sense that he's a player that gives uh, calm to the to the team. Oh yeah, yeah for sure. Um, <laughs> You know, uh, the biggest thing with Rick, man, he controls the pace. And it's funny, man, like, if people keep talking about, like, leadership or whatever, I get a lot of my qualities from him, you know, a lot of that stuff. And, you know, when he's not there, it's definitely, you know, a noticeable thing. But, you know, I think 
when I'm going to text him after the game, you know, but when you when you have a guy like that in moments where things are held to skelter, because Toronto the team likes to push the pace, you know, and we have a terrific half-court defense and, you know, finding ways to get ourselves set, taking care of the ball, making the right passes. Um, Ricky's one of the best at it, you know, making the, one of the best at just making the right reads, continuing to find guys, continue to put guys in the right spots on both ends of the floor, communicate. Um, and when you have a guy who's who's been doing this since he was like 13 years old at the pro level, um, it's definitely missed and we can't wait to have him back. Um, you know, it's, it's going to be good when he comes back. And, and your, your opinion? Uh, yeah, I, everything he said, I completely agree with Ricky. Uh, he said it about his ability on the court to be able to slow teams down, to slow us down, get us in the right position. And even having him on the bench, having him talking to us, directing us, uh, telling us how to run the offense, just little things here and there, it helps a lot more than a lot of people think. And, you know, it's can't have him around for a little while, but once he's back, I think he's going to get troop it a lot. Thank you. Anyone else? One last question. I was over TV at Sports Canada. Uh, school players in the past talked about how difficult it is to play against Toronto for a multitude of reasons. You know, you guys started off the season tonight against them. I'm sure you're happy you played them. What makes it so difficult really playing against Toronto? Um, you want to go? Yeah. Uh, they're a physical team. Uh, we, they... Every time you go in the paint, you know you're going to get hit. Every time you know things aren't going to be easy, you have to go in with the mindset that it's going to be a rough game. It's going to be a lot of hands in the lane, hands everywhere, and you just got to be ready for it. Yeah, obviously, with their size and speed and athleticism, they can be a pretty frenetic team to try to play against, as you were talking about earlier. What, what are the challenges going up against them with the, the length they have in terms of the, making pick and roll reads and that kind of stuff? The randomness of their defense. Um, they're very good at that. You know, Nick Nurse is very good at that. And it's, he's always been like that. Even I heard even since the, the G League days. Um, you know, like, for instance, I had a turnover where um, I beat OG down the baseline and Fred Van Fleet just leaves his man and comes uh, comes behind me and, and gets a steal. Like, you know, that's not the typical defensive principle, but that's how they do it. And they have the size, they have the length, they switch, they, they're in drop, they're in blitz, they're in box and one. Like, you never know what's coming. And, you know, for us, this, you, you said it, for us, to, this to be our first game is a really good test, you know, and you know, I'm really pleased. I think we're all pleased with how, you know, Things went. You know, we obviously are pissed off that we we couldn't execute and down the stretch. But you know, it's 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 a game. You know, it's it's part of the learning process. But you know, with a team like this, you know, you give them credit. That's what they're known for. That's how, you know, that's why they're a playoff team. And you know, you just got to be able to play through that, and understand that going in. And I think we did a good job, and we can do an even better job as a group. So, um, hats off to them. Thanks, Tom. I appreciate it. Thank you. Bye.